In this video we're discussing the differences between spray balls versus rotary jet cleaners. So first let's define what we're talking about. A spray ball is a simple tank cleaning device. It's essentially a sphere with lots of small holes in it and it produces lots of micro jets that fire out in all directions so it cleans every part of the tank. A rotary jet cleaner is a more advanced type of tank cleaner. It has two or four jets which rotate on two axes and these jets are then brought to bear on each part of the tank in a set cleaning cycle. So what are the pros and cons of these two tank cleaning machines and how do they stack up against each other? So firstly the pros of the spray ball. Number one, they're cheap. Between 50 and 250 pounds and maybe a little bit more if you have some of the more advanced materials but they're a cheap, very cost effective system. Second advantage is they're very, very simple. There's no moving parts. As I said before, they're just essentially a sphere of metal or plastic with lots of holes in them, so there's nothing really that can go wrong with them. Thirdly, they're a low pressure system. They'll typically run between one and three bar pressure, so you don't need any high pressure pumps to run them. In fact, running them at higher pressures is probably not a good idea, and so you want to run them at low pressure, so it's a low pressure system that keeps the pumping costs down. And lastly, they give more or less instant coverage to the whole tank. So as soon as you turn them on, they're more or less instantly covering the whole tank unlike the rotary jet cleaners. So what are the cons of a spray ball? What are the downsides of this technology? Well, mostly and most importantly, they are inefficient in terms of water usage. There's very little impact from these tank cleaners, so you need a lot of water over a long period of time to break down the residue, so they use a lot of water. Secondly, they have a limited reach. Realistically, you don't really want to be putting these in anything much more than a four meter diameter tanks, and if you've got bigger tanks and you're using spray balls, you're going to need multiple spray balls to do so. And finally, the final con of these is they may not ever be able to really clean very tough residues that require impact to get them off in any reasonable time frame, so they're not suitable for all residues. So moving on to jet cleaners, what are the pros of the rotary jet cleaners. Most importantly they are the most water efficient tank cleaners we have on the market. They use the actual mechanical action of the jets that blast away at the residue and so they're far far more water efficient. The second advantage is they have an increased range so you can get quite big rotary jet cleaners that will have jet length effective cleaning jet lengths of up to 20 25 meters so in theory you could clean a, a 50 meter diameter tank with a single machine they vastly increase the range of tanks that can be cleaned and thirdly they tend to be a lot quicker there's one important caveat to that that we'll discuss in a minute but generally speaking they will reduce the cleaning time as well as reducing the amount of water and caustic used in any cleaning cycle so what are the cons of a rotary jet cleaner well the first and most obvious one is cost now, these units are around two and a half thousand pounds depending on the model they can be a bit more, they can be a bit less. So they're a, you know, an order of magnitude or so more expensive than the humble spray ball. So there's a cost issue there. Secondly, they really require higher pressures. You can run them at about two to three bar, so similar pressures as the spray balls, but they're not very efficient then. So you really you want to be running them between sort of six ideally sort of eight to 10 bar pressure. So you may need a more, a major upgrade your pump and you'll certainly need a higher pressure pump. So that can add to the cost as well. Thirdly, they're more complex to maintain. So there are moving parts in them. They're a geared machine. And so there's, there's more to go wrong in there. Now they are very reliable, but nevertheless, they're not as, as reliable as a, as a spray ball, which is essentially a lump of metal with holes in it with not a lot to go wrong there so there is more maintenance on, on these machines and finally and this is the caveat i talked about a minute ago there is a minimum cleaning cycle they don't unlike the spray ball instantly wet the whole of the tank there's a minimum cleaning cycle depending on the pressure and the model of the machine that you're running them at they have to go through their set minimum cycle before all of the jets have been brought to bear on all part of the tank this can be very small, it can be down to two, two or three minutes with some models, but on other models it can be sort of 20, 30 minutes. So you, you don't get a complete tank clean unless it's been running through that cycle. This isn't an issue if the cleaning cycle is relatively long, but if, if you want a quick rinse, they're not necessarily suitable. So conclusions, jet cleaners tend to be overall cheaper in the long run when you take into account the, the cost of water. So the initial upfront cost is often more outpaced by the, the, the continual savings from the more efficient machine. So they're, they're generally better for most applications, particularly if you've got a tough residue or a large tank, but spray balls still definitely have their place and they may well be the best choice for small tanks with a light residue that just need a quick rinse. So that's our video on spray balls versus rotary jet cleaners. Mm -hmm.